<laughs> Good, thanks for asking. I'm, I'm doing pretty well. So how was your weekend? Or perhaps it's not a weekend in, in Saudi Arabia, right? No, it's a weekend. And they call it a whole weekend, a long we a weekend, because they add two weeks every month. Uh, they add two days, uh, two days. Every month, they add two days. They add two days off? Totally yes. off? Yes. How? <laughs> so people stopped working since Thursday till now? Yes, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and tomorrow, Monday. Oh, <laughs> why do they have all of these days off? I don't know. That's the new system. A new system. Interesting. So this is like every two weeks or every four weeks? It's from the, uh, the last year. Uh, every four weeks, uh, they're giving you two days after or before the weekend. Mm. And uh, take is, the this four days. For, is it only for students or for everyone? Um, not everyone and not all the students. Uh, it depends on what they work. Okay, so it depends on your 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 job and or your study. Mm -hmm. Then they will give you like a few days off or not. This is amazing. <laughs> no, I but we I just had, like... had the summer the summer vacation. We only have uh, only two months. Oh yeah, we still we use we used to take it four months. Four months off. <laughs> that... now only uh the two months two months is is the same like here it's you know like normal to have two months so you know a, like a summer vacation good so far so good okay so last time we were working on unit 1.1 if you remember yes and I told you next time we're going to tackle 1.2. So this is the next time. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you printed the book or you just... No, I still didn't. Did you get your PDF copy or not yet as well? No. You can contact the lady in the, like, in the, the you know, in the this and she will, she will help you about that, okay? Okay. Okay. Right. So, uh, in like, even if if you didn't have the PDF and you wanted just to go and grab it from the nearest, uh, like, bookshop or something, the book's name is. Oops. Why I can't have it in here? It's uh, Speak Out Second Edition Upper Intermediate. Okay. 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 Good, good. So is there anyone else is going to join me or no? I don't know. I think they will, but I'm not sure. I, I didn't really check the file for the registrations, but it's okay. They will, they will, they will. So um, try something new. What do you think this unit's going to be about? Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. It's about trying new things. Yeah, trying new things. <laughs> so um, we have like four pictures and what do you think about each one of them? Okay, the first one is dancing, but I have no idea why old, uh, old man and uh, 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 old woman is dancing. Okay. <laughs> you have no idea why they're dancing? I but... haven't seen anything like that. They are too old. No, not that much. Come on. They're like in their 40s. And people stay love to dance, even if they are like aging. Uh, okay, that's unusual for me. <laughs> what about the second one? The second one, um, I actually want to try it. Really? Yes. Isn't it dangerous? Yes, but still, I love this. Rope things. jumping, right? 
Yes. Interesting. I, I wouldn't try that, honestly. <laughs> Why? What about the next one? It's eating, uh, Number C, uh, eating insects? No, yes. no, yes. no. Or a little bit. Maybe, maybe I will try it. I don't know. Would you eat cockroaches? Mm -mm. No. But mm, <laughs> sometimes I think that mm, maybe I should try it. But then I cancel because it's disgusting. But still, I, I like to try new things. Yeah. And I believe the last picture we have a man who is giving a speech. I think the new thing here is that he's the first. It's the first time for him. Maybe. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the first time for people to give a speech is very difficult. Um. Yes. The first time for me was when I uh, was grade three. You you were only three three years old. No, uh, grade three when I was grade oh, three right. was the first time. Okay. Okay. Interesting. In the graduation. Wow, that's good. Graduation in grade three. What What are you graduating? Yes. Uh, at three, at six, at uh, at nine, at twelve. There's four graduations. How many graduations in Saudi Arabia? <laughs> because there's parts from grade one to grade three. There's a quite uh, uh it's uh, uh one part then the second part the next three years and three years and three years. Yeah, in Syria it's like uh until grade six just it's all you know like like one yeah one primary school from one to six and then six to nine. Ninth grade is an important year there. Yes, I know. Your secondary year. And then you have a high school, three years as well. Also, there's a, for the uh, the KG, they also graduate. <laughs> so, yeah, that makes So, the lot. total, you have, I think, six graduations. For me, I, I don't think that... They... There's no need for anything. Yeah, I mean, it depends. It really depends about, it really depends on your school or where you go to. Um, just the international schools, they love to celebrate a lot. And honestly, it's kind of a marketing thing. So they would make a celebration, invite parents, and it's all, you know, coming out of the budget that the parents pay in the first place. <laughs> so they can take pictures and they can, you know, just sponsor them online so more and more people can see how cool they are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I believe you're studying at an international school there, right? No. Oh, a public school? Yeah. That's good. And I, I, I have no idea about the Saudi Arabian like educational system. Is it better to be in public school or at an international school? Um, it's better the international because the things that you're going to study is better. And, uh, and if you're studying the, uh, the Arabic thingy, is, it's just repeating. So the same things that you are studying at grade seven, studying it again, eight and nine and 10. Yeah. International schools aren't as internet as, as international as they say. Okay, so let's see here. They're telling us how do you feel about trying new things such as a challenging sport, a new dish, or a new skill. Take the statements that best fit you, then work in bit. Let's see. So which one would you choose here? You can choose more than one. Um, uh, number A or number here, A, right? yes. fine if no one's watching, you see these ones. Uh, hmm. I love it.
Um, fine if no one is watching and also I love it. Uh, okay. So now I'm going to give you four paragraphs that you need to connect with the pictures you just saw. So for example, you read each one and you try to connect it with a picture. Can you do that? Yeah. So I'm going to just put on the screen the paragraphs for you. And I'll give you like 30 seconds to read them and try to attach them. Oh, oh. Uh, all my friends put pressure on me to do it. Looking down, I felt scared out of my eyes. Uh, number B, uh, it's the, the B. Number one with B. Okay, go on for the next ones. Uh, the very thought of eating them made me uh, number uh, C. Mm, nice, okay. The real interesting thing was how quickly you learned the steps. I was by the way the teacher taught at the end. Uh, it's uh, the D. Right, what about the last one? I will just uh, scroll down for a bit for you. I was taking my leave, so I stood up. Everyone was staring at me and I just ran out of the room. And so it's Huh? Uh, no, it's also number D. There's nothing here about the dance. Maybe dancing is, is, is maybe this kind of dance is something new. So four is D, but three is A. It's about that dance number three. Let's read it together. The really interesting thing was how quickly we learned the steps. See, to dance, you need to have steps, right? I was fascinated by the way the teacher taught us. At the end of the lesson, the teacher gave us a prize for best beginners. We were over the moon. What's the meaning of over being over the moon? Mm. I actually don't know. Be very happy. Okay. Okay. Great. So now, um, do you have any new vocabulary here? Do you have anything that you didn't really understand as new words? Mm. Yeah, this is a good one. My stomach turn. What's the meaning of that? Made my uh, um, uh, I can't explain it. It's like it's, uh, something that when you get nervous, you feel like that. Yeah, when you're nervous, you get nervous, you have that. Okay. Um, yes, tell me, please, about the new vocabulary of yours. Um, that would be awkward. Um, where? Just the third, tell me. The third, the third line. The first paragraph. Do you have anything in the first paragraph? Uh, no. Second? Yes, number uh, the third line. Okay. Awkward. Awkward. Bad. Not good. Oh, okay. What else? No, no, uh, nothing else. Number three. Fascin fa fascinated. Fascinate uh, means like you know like surprised in a good way oh okay okay number four um frustrated frustrated to feel down oh, oh, oh. 
the opposite of feeling excited. Oh. Disappointed, okay. I wish the earth would swallow. Swallow. Oh, swallow me up. This is a swallow is when you eat something and you know you just take uh, it in. But here it means like that I wish the earth would swallow me up. We we use the same term. Do you know the Arabic term? But for yes, that? yes, I know it. <laughs> you want the earth, you know, to just uh, swallow you up. It's when you're really embarrassed. Okay, so far so good. Now I want to hear. Here we have the adjectives we just discussed. I want you to match the adjectives or phrases you circled to words with the similar from one to 10. Okay, so we have something there we should circle together. Just let me um, see where it is. I believe they are all about the phrases we just discussed. So here they are. We have felt uh, scared out of my wit, okay, revealed or relieved, which means to feel okay, made my stomach turn, we just discussed this, awkward, impressed, fascinated, over the moon, I just told you about that as well, Sh uh, shaking like a leaf, frustrated, and I wish the earth would swallow me up. I wanted to match those to um, the um, phrases here, disappointed and angry, felt embarrassed, thrilled, disgusted, glad it was finished, and nervous, uh, before nervous, very interested, petrified, admiring, and embarrassing. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, number five was uh, relieved. 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 Yes. Okay. Match them all of them together. Then I will give you the answers. Okay. I wanted to try. I can scroll down for you if you want to see the others. No, it's okay. <clears throat> I'll give you a few seconds and then we'll do them together. Okay, let's do it together. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Abdurrahman. <laughs> okay, Abdurrahman, uh, you're originally from Syria, right? 
Oh yeah, yes. Uh, my my mute was off. Okay. Yeah. Right. Let's do them together. Okay. okay. First, look for disappointed and angry. From I, the. I think impressed. Number two. The last. The is last word. Positive word. Um. Uh, Rahman, it's a positive word. Frustrated is disappointed and angry. I told you, not feeling. Not feeling that you know good. Em embarrassed to feel embarrassed. Which one would you would you choose for it? Embarrassed. Number ten. Embarrassing. Em embarrassed. It's we use the phrase uh, like you know when the would we wish the earth to you know. Yes. Yes. But we can see number number two and number ten, the same. It's ten embarrassing. It's like awkward. Okay. It, mm. Yeah, it's look when you're when you're when it's awkward, it's something bad and embarrassing for you. Okay, for example, you said something inappropriate for your father, for example, and you feel embarrassed. It feels awkward. Okay, but when it felt embarrassed, that would here be you are the one who is embarrassed and you want to you know. Just the earth yes. goes all up. So to feel thrilled, very happy, or we say over the moon. Over the moon, yes. Very super happy. <clears throat> Made my stomach turn. But, um, it disgust, disgusted me. Yeah, but we use it when we are stressed. Some people, absolutely, <laughs> like, happily, it's not me, but. Uh, I believe when I was like a teenager, it feels when you're very anxious, it feels like you're you want to throw up or something. That's turn my stomach is. It disgusts someone not because it's disgusting. It's because sometimes it's uh, embarrassing or making you feel you know stressed. So glad it was finished. Last yeah, I, I I told you it's re relieved. Relieved, yes. When you're relieved, it feels like good that it's it's done. Very interested. Fascinated. Fascinated. Felt nervous. Shaking like a leaf. Yes, when you're shaking like a leaf, you're nervous. All right. Uh, what about petrified? Scared out of my wits. Which means super scared. Super scared. Okay? Okay. What about admiring? Impressed. That's correct. And embarrassing? How could we discuss that? Great. Um, now, I want you here to check what you know, and I want you to cross out the incorrect alternative in each sentence. So you have like three sentences, A and B, A, B, A, B. And here, um, you need to show me how well you use the participles. Do you know what the participles are? For example, no. I'm frustrated, or this feels frustrating. The same like, I am bored and I am boring. Do you know the difference between them? Yes, I know how to use it, but I don't know the, the grammar. Name, yeah, it's called participles. So if you say, I am bored, that means someone else is make you bored. But if you said, I am boring, it means that you are the one who is making other people bored, okay? Mm -hmm. So here you have uh, the same the same point. Like you have frustrating, frustrated, embarrassing, embarrassed, and you have others as well. Go ahead, do them, and then I will help you answer answering them. Okay.
Okay, done. Okay. Let's do it together. So please um, go ahead. You are A and I am B. Okay. Uh, I felt really um, uh, first, uh, frustrated because I tried so hard, but I still failed the driving test. And it's your fifth time. How embarrassing. Uh, I was very interested in the book. Yes, it was really or totally fascinating. I was very relieved at the end. Yes, and we won. I was really over the moon or absolutely both correct. Good job. Good job, Abdurrahman. And uh, write the answers so you can write them on your book when you're, you know, when you have yeah. your book. Okay, now let's move on to the next page. And here we have our reading. So let's read to work in pairs and then we will answer some questions, okay? So let's work in pairs or let's read together and look at the title of the article, Bo. What do you think the article, of, the, the article is going to talk about? 30 days to a new life. Hmm. Someone is trying to change his life. Maybe. Or maybe it's a like a recipe for or a guide, a guide kind of article for people who want to change their lives. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's read together and then we will answer the questions together. Agree? Okay. Okay. I will read first, then you can read for us. I will read the article and you can read the comments. 30 days to a new life. It's a simple idea. Choose something you've done uh, before and spend the next 30 days doing it. It can be something ordinary like walking more or changing your diet or something that really takes you outside of your comfort zone or outside your comfort zone, such as mountain climbing, writing a short story or getting up before sunrise every day it's all about changing old habits into new ones overcoming your fears and moving your life in a healthier and more interesting direction so go ahead pick one of the ideas from the list or one of your own and get started today let me know how you get on so we have here three levels easy Take a 30 minutes walk each day or keep a day, keep a daily journal. Take a new route to work or school every day. Meditate for 30 minutes each day. We have another level, intermediate. Try a new recipe each day. Learn how to draw a human face. Stop using the internet for 30 days. That stuff. Take a daily cold shower. Mm. I don't like that. Now, heart. <laughs> the hot, the hot water is the best. The water is the best? Uh, the, uh, the hot shower. Hot shower is the best, yes. Um, so the hard level, take a, take, <laughs> not take a shower, take a, talk to a stranger every day. Take one photo, photograph a day. Write a 10,000 word short story in a month. Get up before sunrise every day. So which one or which ones would you do? Mm -hmm. Easy ones. You wouldn't take it to the next level, to the intermediate ones? No. No. Because I don't want to take a shower in the cold water. Yeah. And I and I don't like to draw. You don't like drawing faces. No. Your sister loves to draw. Yes, they both draw. <laughs> she always when whenever I ask about hobbies, she would just hobbies say, is drawing, just drawing, yeah. 
Yeah. They're drawing everywhere. Cool. I honestly mean, I love drawing too, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> okay. So now it's your time. Please start reading the comments. Okay. Yes, mine 21. I've just finished my first challenge. No internet for 30 days. At first, I thought it would be impossible, but I noticed after five or six days that I felt much more relaxed. For one thing, I had more time on my hands, but more importantly, I began to pay attention to things around me more, especially the people. I realized that I often use things like social networking to avoid the outside world. Oh, nice. Okay, that's good. Go ahead for the next paragraph, please. Tall, thin guy. <laughs> what kind of names is that? Maybe we would just use, you know, like a, a fake name or something. That's a nicknames, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Talking to strangers is rel relatively easy for me because I do I do it all the time in my job. So I try something a bit different. Talking to a friend every day, a different friend every day. I wasn't sure I had 30 friends all together. So after going through the, uh, the obvi uh, obvious people, the ones I'm uh, in touch with, uh, with and socials with now, I started digging into my past, going back to, fr to friends I'd lost touch with from univers university, then high school, then primary school. Since then, I've made much more of an effort to stay in touch with a few really pr uh, precious friends. Interesting. Do you okay. think you did what is right? Uh, what? Do you think he was right to do what he did? Uh, hmm. Not sure. No, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, now... Because it's think? not going to change his life. Because it's he said that he, uh, it's easy for him. Yeah. Totally. Go ahead for the next one, please. Okay, cheek. I started going this half of year ago, and in the last six months, I've learned how to sail. I've taken art lessons and become a member of the of an online book club. For me, the best exp experience has been uh, meditation. Uh, I've done yoga for years but I've never really tried med uh, meditation before. Uh, it's not just that I feel cal calmer and don't get so uh, stressed. I also find I can focus on tasks more clearly and I sleep better. So that's one something I'm going to carry on doing. Okay, interesting. Now, let's see the questions we have. So we read the paragraphs and check your predictions. I think we were right. So now let's find the uh, phrases in the text, which mean new and difficult for paragraph one. Uh, what happens to you in paragraph two? Had spare time in, you know, just mean search, searching carefully in the tall thing guy. <laughs> tried hard to again in the guy and continue with check i will uh, make it like big for you can you zoom in and see the yes I can. here and there can you do that mm -hmm. but so what's I'm the phrases what's phrases yes this is your job to search in the paragraphs and find what's the, the meaning of the word phrases phrases is like not a full sentence Phrase would be like this. Look, it's like a new and difficult for you. Let me use that like this. Not a full sentence, just like a couple of words together. 
had spent time, not a full sentence, okay? Like a part of a sentence. Got it? Yeah. So let me zoom out for you. And you can zoom in at any, you know, like on any paragraph and answer the, the, um, the phrases you have. Did you find them or still working on it? Still working. Okay. I can't find this. No problem. Just try to find the ones that you, you can. Okay. Okay, All right. then what I know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, right. So here we go. We can, oops. We can see them there. In the first paragraph, you had outside your comfort zone. And then for the second one, which was uh, what happens to you, it's here and, and like how you get on. And the third one had spare time in Jasmine. I had more time on my hands. Mm -hmm. And then you had searching carefully. Digging. Digging into, thank you. And what is the next one? Uh, tried hard to, can find it here, made much of an effort to stay. And the last one, continue, is okay, to um, on. Thank you. That was very good. Now let's have our 10 minutes of break. And after break, we're going to work on the present perfect. Um, do you remember what the present perfect is? Um, I don't know the names. Okay, no problem. After break, we'll work on the present perfect and it's going to be all right. 
So um, take your 10 minutes of break and uh, I'll see you after a break. Okay, see you. See you. Yes, yeah, so... hello. <coughs> Hi, how was your break? Good enough. Sorry, was it good? Good. All right, so welcome back. Now we're gonna have something that you must probably know before, which is the present perfect. I will remind you of the present perfect. It's a tense where we have a subject plus have or has plus verb three plus a complement. So an example of that would be, I have broken my leg. Now to check your understand or to check your prior knowledge, I want you to uh, work on sentences one to four and use this structure for me. So I want you to complete these um, sentences using the words in brackets. Can you do it? Okay. <clears throat> Okay, let me see if you will be able to do them or not. And if you couldn't, it's okay. It's totally fine. Choose something you have done before. Yes, you have done before. Thank you. That's good. I have finished my first challenge. I have just finished my first. I have, I have just finished. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. What about number three and four? In the last six months, months, I um, I have learned how to sail. Yes, I have learned how to sail. Okay, I um, I have done yoga for years. I have done yoga for years. Okay, thank you. Now, um, let me just clear it all over here and yeah. So um, let's check the rules here. Let's check what we, why do we use the present perfect for? So we use the present perfect for many reasons, okay? Here we're gonna discuss three of them. We use it with a completed action or experience at a, an unspecific time before now. So for example, this weekend, uh, ever, never, this month, we don't like, it's about an action that happened in the past, but not in a specific, like at a specific time. For example, when I told you, I can say, I have broken my leg last week. And when I say that, would you know exactly when this happened? No but it happened in the past, right? Mm -hmm. We also use it for recent completed action or actions at an unspecific time before now that has present results. So exactly like what I told you, if I said, I have broken my leg, you can see the plaster on my leg, right? So yeah. you can see the result. And this is why we use the present perfect as well. We often use already just with the present perfect. And the third use, we use it for state or states or, uh, sorry, uh, status and or actions which are not completed. Okay, for example, they began in the past and continue up to now. We use often with them like for or since. For example, I have, I have uh, worked on my writing since April. It's an action that happened in the past and still not completed, right? Mm -hmm. So we use it for three things, for three reasons. One, and completed action in the past with an unspecific time. Um, another, or we use it for like, again, 
completed actions in the past with an unspecific time with a present result. The third use of it, we use it for actions that are not complete that started in the past. So far, so good? Yes. Okay. Now, let's move on to the next page. And um, I want you here to, in fact, this is, yeah, we still, we can do it together. So here we have up to now, so far, this time last week, recently, this morning, over the last fort, uh, fortnight, not yet, still not, and for several years. Okay, so here, um, I want you to think about every one of those phrases and tell me whether we can use it with the present perfect or the past simple, the past simple like I did my homework or both of them. For example, up to now, we use it with the present perfect only. We can't use it with the past simple because we use the past simple to talk about actions that are like actions that happened in the past and finished completely finished in the past. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, work on them, please. Do you know the meaning of Fortnite? What? Do you know the meaning of Fortnite? Uh... It means a period of two weeks. Yes, 14 days. Yeah. Have you <clears throat> okay, let's do it together. So um, let's get started. Okay, so the first one up to now, use it with the present perfect, right? What about so far? So far, use it for uh, the, the future, right? Sorry, I'm just, we only have present perfect or past simple. Or both, maybe it was. Uh, so far we use it with the present perfect, PP. What about the next one? This time last week. This time last week, present, uh, um, both. Specific time, specific time. Specific time. Uh, we, present simple, yeah. Past simple, bro. Uh, past, yeah, time, past. past simple, unspecific time, present perfect, okay? Okay. Recently, yeah. uh, the present perfect. Correct. This morning? Uh, present, both. present, pres both. Uh, no, both, both. yeah. Both. Okay, what about uh, the next one? What, should, what is the Over next? the last fortnight, 
uh, it's a uh, past simple. No, both. Sorry, just uh, so this morning we said it over the last fortnight. I think it's both. No, it, it's like over all, all, all of the 14 days. So it's just so, uh, past simple. Present perfect. Present perfect, but we know the time. Not specific. Over the last 14 or like fortnight, which means 14 days. So it's just. It happened somewhere in between the 14 days. What's specific here, Amjad? Sorry, not Amjad, Abdul Rahman. Okay. Right? Not yet. We say this with the present perfect. Not yet, present perfect. Still not present perfect. Still not present yeah. perfect also. For, For several, several years. years. Um, both. Both, correct. Let's listen. Okay, I'm going to write you the answers here so you can find them. And if you want to take a screenshot or write them down. Just wait, I'll take screenshots. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now let's listen to the sentences together. Unit one, recording four. One, have you tried it before? Two, I've thought about it a lot. Three, has he seen my last email? Four, she's changed her address. Five, my kids have gone out. Six, has she phoned anyone yet? Now it's time to go to the language bank. This language bank, it's a place where we can have the rule explained and then um, some exercises for you to practice. Like a workbook, oh. right? Sorry? Like a workbook? Yes, but it's at the end of the book. So when you print the book, you will have it like at the end. Okay. So the present perfect, the present perfect always links two time periods together. Okay, the present perfect, uh, like the present perfect links the past to the present in three ways. First way, I believe we discussed them, but again, I'm, I will give you examples this time and some, you know, like, so time up to now, we use it with completed actions or experience that happened at some point in the past. We're not sure in my life, this year, today, the exact time is not specific. We've met before. When? Not sure. Have you seen John this week? I'm asking about the entire week. So it's an unfinished action that from the past until now with an unspecific time. Are we good? Good. This is the first one. The second one, recent, recent events. We use the like the present perfect with a com with completed actions, which uh, has has present results. Okay, in some other way, relevant to the present, the exact time is not specific as well. So, for example, no coffee for me. Thanks. I have already had one. I had it in the past. The result now it's like I don't want another one. So the result can be seen. But when exactly the action happened, we have no idea. If we knew when exactly at, you know, like specific time when it happened, you need to use the past simple. For example, I drank a cup of coffee this morning at 11. You see? So recent events with uh, present results. And are we good for that? Like, is it good? Yeah. Now, ongoing situations. We use this to, we use like the present perfect with uncompleted state or re repeated action that started in the past and continue up to now. Have you ever been on Twitter? 
or 12. No, I don't have. <laughs> so it's an action that started in the past and continue up to now. Okay. I have swam every morning since May. So this action since May, it's happening until now and maybe the future. You see? Mm -hmm. Now, they're telling us, note, the present perfect continuous can be often also used in the same way we will see in unit 2.1. The present perfect and the present perfect continuous are very similar. This is our lesson for next unit. Now I just want you to differentiate between the present perfect and the past simple. So the past simple, we use it with specific time. However, the present perfect, we use it with unspecific time. Here are some words that we use with the present perfect, like just, already, not yet, ever, recently, lately, since, so far, up to now, until, until now, over the last year, still not, etc. And here are another words that we use with the past simple, like yesterday, ago, this time, last year, specific, you see, on Thursday, on the, on the 12th of May, on, on, you can put any date, last week, last month, last year, etc. And there are some phrases that we can use for both, like never, always, for, before, in, in this summer, today, this morning, afternoon, um, you know, other, there are others as well. Now, do you have any questions here? No. All right. Let's move on to our exercise. I want you here to complete this email with the past simple or the present perfect with the verbs in brackets. Go ahead, please. Okay, so um, dear mom and dad, Take sorry. Your Take your time. Do it all on your own, then we'll do it together, okay? Okay. Okay, done. All right. So go ahead. Please read to me the email with your answers on. Okay. Sorry, uh, dear mom and dad. Sorry, I haven't written in a while. But things are crazy here. I can't believe it. Uh, it, has, uh, it has been six months ago that I left and that we... We haven't seen each other for that long. Uh, this trip 
uh, was fantastic so far, at least until a few days ago, we uh, when things took a turn for the worse. We arrived in the in the city center, and checked into the first hotel we saw. Now you know I stay. Uh, I have stayed. I have stayed in a lot of one star hotels in my life, but this one was really bad. So we decided to go straight out to see the city. Unfortunately. Uh, we forgot to lock our room, and when we got back, our luggage and most of our money was gone. Uh, we have called the police right away, and I went back to the police station several times since. Uh, and uh, I have, uh, and I have gone, uh, back to the police station several times since then, but no one was. Uh, uh but no one. Uh, has uh, has handed in any of our things. Anyway, could you send me one thousand, please? Th <laughs> thanks you a lot and love. One thousand euros. Ah, uh, euros. Okay. So the whole email because in the end he wants the thousand. Poor guy. Okay. Well. Let's check. You had a few mistakes, and here are the corrections. Oh. You mixed between them a bit, but it's okay. You're still practicing, so no problem. Right. Take the answers, please, and let's work on the next exercise. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Okay. Now it's time for next one for the next question. Underline the correct phrase. So here you would have like phrases you would need to select. <clears throat> so go ahead. You have ten sentences. Again, work on them, and then we will do it together. Have you finished? No, I'm at number four. Okay.
Okay. Then. Okay. So I have never played squash, which is a game before. Before, Move. yes. Yeah, okay. Next one is yours. Go ahead, read it, please. No wonder I've got a headache. It's two o'clock and I didn't have a coffee this morning. Thank you. Up to now, or it's the, the answer is until I took this course, comma, I always believed that English was easy. Four is for you, please. I've uh, I've known Maria for you for ten years now. For ten years, correct. So far, um, in the first yeah. So far, I haven't missed any classes. I had terrible concentrate uh, concentrating at work until I got new glasses. Thank you. I have I have ever ridden or I have never ridden a scooter since the accident. Okay. Uh, I, I yeah. haven't worked this month, so money is tight. Yeah, money is tight. I have I haven't downloaded it yet. We came back from holiday this time last week. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. And here it goes. All right, so now let's move back to our book. All right. And here you have another exercise to work on. Okay, so here you have like it to complete the sentences with the present perfect or the past perfect, sorry, the past simple from the verbs in the box. So you have do, give, be, go, live, play, try, learn, buy, and get. Go ahead, please use the verbs to complete the sentences. Either you need to use uh, have plus verb three. or you need to have verb two. Verb three can be either a verb that you put ed to if it is a regular verb or you change the verb entirely like go, went. No, go, gone. Sorry, go, went, gone. Went is for two, it's gone okay. here, three, okay? Mm -hmm. However, for verb two, it's again either ed if it is regular or if it is irregular, the second column, which is go, went, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, go ahead and work on all of them, please. The first one, I was always afraid of water. We'll see, work on all of them, and then we'll do them together. Okay.
the number uh, um, the line number seven okay um i am paranoid what's that meaning paranoid annoyed okay huh? like not um sorry paranoid it's like not feeling well about something okay okay like uh, look here he's going to give his credit card so definitely he's gonna be a paranoid yes uh can you please go up a little bit because the books i can't see the book the books oh okay can you see it now the books the words books oh right Okay, now I can see it. Okay, done. Okay. Right, uh, so now let's work on it and let's see if you were right. Go ahead, please. I was always uh afraid of water i have been always afraid of water oh, continue I please. Uh, but i finally uh learned correct how to swim in the summer now i'd like to try diving correct go ahead for the next one i've just got a high quality video camera my sister gave it to me uh for my birthday so I'd like to learn how to edit a film. Okay. I love music. I, I love music, and I, uh, I've pla I've played the piano for many years now. But there's one uh, uh, instru instrument. Instrument. Uh, instrument. Um, I didn't. I uh, haven't tried. Uh, I haven't tried uh, so far. The, the guitar okay uh, um i've never uh, uh bought anything online i'm paranoid about giving my credit my credit card details but i know it's cheaper so that would be my choice okay. Hike, hiking in the alps i um I I have lived in Austria since I was born, and everyone in my family, uh, went to the Alps hiking. Has been. Uh, has been has been, uh, to the Alps hiking loads of time, uh, but somehow, I still didn't. didn't I still uh, haven't done. A uh, I still haven't gone a proper hike. Okay, here are the answers. You can have them. You can take them. Great. Okay. So that's a great. We worked on the present perfect versus the past perfect. We finished unit 1.2. And I believe we can stop here today. But for being a good student, I have a... Um, like I have a song for you for irregular verbs. So you can just try to, you know, 
remember that. So let me share the song with you. I'm sure you're gonna like it. Okay. Can you see the video now? Uh, no. Oh, I just say it's loading here. Okay. Regular verbs. Go, take. Take. Yes, took. 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 Taken. Taken. Shake. 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 Are you having fun? No. Would you have more fun if I hit you with my hand? <laughs> uh, this is my hand, my third hand. Uh, I have another idea. Maybe a little bit more fun way to learn the regular verbs. You want to try? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Let's try it. Shook, shaken, wake, woke, woken to the style I'm creating. Think, thought, thought, seek, sought, sought. Listen to the lesson that I teach, taught, taught. Don't sleep, slept, slept. I creep, crept, crept. I sneak, snuck, snuck up. You leap, left, left. I keep, kept, kept. Having fun, I'm never beat, beat, beaten. I win, one, one. Do, did, done. Begin, begin, begun. Shoot, shot, shot. No, I don't own a gun. I leap, let, let, so I can feed, fed, fed. The knowledge you need, straight to your head. When I bring it, I brought it. You catch it, you caught it. Sit back, relax. Don't fight, fought, fought it. Please don't freeze, froze, frozen. When I speak, spoke, spoken. It's real, you can feel. I don't steal, stole, stolen. I choose, chose, chosen the very best rhymes and write, wrote, written them into my lines and into your mind. When we meet, met, met, I bet, 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 I won't let you forget. Forgot, forgotten, I get, got, gotten. Every head nodding, don't think about stopping. Just come, came, come. This is hip hop, I don't sing, sing, song. I sting, stung, stung. You cling, clung, clung. I'm each and every word. You hang, hung, hung. It's not enough to dream, dread, dread. You gotta spend, spend, spend time on your goals. Please lend, lend, lend me your ear. Come near and I lay, lay, lay down this new sound that I make, make, make. I hope you don't say that you think it's junk. I hope you don't think that I stink, stink, stink. If you're thirsty for English, come drink, drink, drink. Cause I sing, sing, song. All competition when they hear, her, her. I give, gave, given encouragement. When I spit, spat, spat. Never quit, quit, quit. Don't sit, sat, sat. Yeah, I like it like that. I'll even kneel, no, no. And beg you to express what you feel, felt, felt. I rise, rose, risen. When I drive, drove, driven through the beat. Tap your feet as you ride, rode, ridden. Those that hide, hid, hidden. I find, found, found. If you flee, fled, fled, then I'll track you down. This is where I think I'm supposed to dance, but I don't dance. Does anyone dance? <laughs> now you see, saw, seen, that I mean, meant, meant, every word of the message that I sent, sent, sent. I show, 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 I can fly, flew, flow, like you know, new, no. I shine, show, show, I grow through, throw, you the ball, it's your turn to grow, grow, grow with the verbs that you learn. Grammar through lyrics, I draw, drew, drawn. Peace to ELLs. Now I go and gone. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, no one is going to teach like that. He's, he's special. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's an interesting guy. Okay, so um, I believe today that's it for today. Uh, I'll see you next week then. So until then, you take care and we can start giving you homework from next week. <laughs> okay. Okay. See you next week, my friend. Bye-bye. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye.